Coming up next on News Channel 13, live at 6, six murders and still no suspect. We'll have the latest on a string of shootings in the D.C. area. And a West Coast port shutdown is now affecting our economy, even though one port is now up and running again. Plus, it's billed as the world's largest garage sale, and it's right here in our area. We'll take you there. Those stories and more, plus the forecast and sports highlights. News Channel 13 is next. From WNYT, Albany, this is News Channel 13, live at 6. Tonight's top story, six people have now been killed near our nation's capital, four of them by the same gun. This is News Channel 13, live at 6. Good evening, I'm Kelly Lynch. Investigators believe the random killings are the work of a sniper. They're looking for a missing man in connection with the shootings, although at this point they say he's not a suspect. Beverly Kirk has the very latest. Montgomery County, Maryland police are still searching for any clues that could lead them to the shooter whose random firings have left six people dead, five in Maryland and one in the nation's capital. Forensic testing linked three of the shootings in Maryland and the one in Washington showing the bullets all came from the same weapon. But authorities haven't been able to tie the two other Maryland fatals to the rest. The problem lies with the recovered bullet fragments. Those projectiles are in very poor shape and we just may not be able to link them. Now police are focusing on the vehicle from a shooting in Fredericksburg, Virginia, where a woman was seriously injured when she was shot in the back outside a shopping mall. They're examining the minivan to check for bullets or fragments that could link that shooting to the others. We've told them that the priority is to do the work on the car. When they finish that work, then they will do the work on the projectiles that are in very poor shape. And it makes sense in our minds to make the car a priority. Police say they're chasing some 600 leads in this case they believe are credible. They say they've now found a missing Montgomery County man. Authorities say they are talking to him, but emphasize he's not a suspect in the shootings. While the investigation moves forward, Montgomery County residents try to go on with their lives and not be paralyzed by fear. People are, are uh, thinking about this quite a bit. They're, they're being cautious, they're being observant, they're being vigilant. And police say they're being vigilant in their search for the sniper. Police advise residents to continue with their daily routines, something that's easier said than done with a killer still at large. Beverly Kirk, NBC News, Washington. There is new information tonight on the Columbine school massacre. A new report shows shooter Eric Harris told a probation officer about his suicidal and homicidal thoughts. The Rocky Mountain News reports that Harris underwent anger management classes a year before the shootings. Harris and his friend Dylan Klebold opened fire at the school in April of 1999, killing a dozen of their classmates and a teacher before taking their own lives. News from Fulton, Schenectady, and Warren County is up next. But first, let's check in with Lee Hobson for a look at the weekend forecast. Hi, Lee. Hi, Kelly. Good evening, everyone. Certainly not a bad start to the weekend. Quite windy out there this afternoon and mild temperatures. But things are cooling down and will continue to do so this evening under partly cloudy skies. Temperatures falling through the 50s during the evening hours. And then those winds will diminish overnight and we'll see clearing skies. Temperatures down into the mid-40s. And a nice sunny start to our day tomorrow with temperatures on the chilly side in the upper 40s. But it looks like a nice afternoon coming up tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, temperatures in the 60s. I'll have the complete forecast in just a few moments. Kelly. All right, thank you, Lee. State police would like your help in finding a missing Saratoga County woman. 44-year-old Jan Charlene Stone was last seen about 7 o'clock last night when police say she left her Lake Luzerne home distraught. She's driving a 1982 red Chevy S10 pickup truck, license plate number 11701.